We are going to see those low clouds sticking around this afternoon and they're not going anywhere. Most of our uh, coastal cities are going to continue to see those low clouds into tomorrow. Now our weather pattern this week is super complicated. There's a lot of minor things happening that kind of make the bigger picture. But in short, you can expect cooler weather this week. You can expect more clouds, some uh, drizzly conditions throughout the week, maybe even an isolated shower. So we are going to have some more, uh, I should say more moisture uh, kind of sticking with us this week before we gradually start to warm up through the weekend. But a uh, ridge of high pressure going to move off to the east. That's going to make room for this trough of low pressure here to move into our area. This is also going to increase our onshore flow today, especially. Uh, so we are going to see some gusty winds out there. Winds this afternoon anywhere between 10 to 15 miles per hour. Now those are sustained winds, but we could have an occasional gust anywhere between 20 to 25 miles per hour. And we're talking around the immediate coast and some of our valley locations where we could see those gusty conditions. But the bigger story here going to be those low clouds with that onshore flow. Uh, that's going to be sticking around. We could see some drizzle later today. That drizzle like condition could last us even as early as Wednesday or as, as late, I should say, as early Wednesday morning there. And then we have a little change again. Uh, we have this low pressure system here, this upper level low that's kind of going to be scooting over us, that could give us a chance of an isolated shower possible, um, mainly for our coastal mountains, some of our interior mountains, Wednesday into Thursday. We also have a weak system just to the north of us. That could give us a little bit of shower activity as well as we end the work week. So again, a lot, kind of a lot going on. Overall, you can expect cooler, cloudier, and uh, more moisture in our area, and some gusty winds as well. And we're gonna see those gusty winds this afternoon. So the low clouds this morning, morning are going to be sticking around. We might have some gradual clearing around that 9 a.m. hour until lunchtime, but right after lunchtime, those low clouds are going to be moving back in very quickly. So expect a gray day around the coast into Salinas along Highway 1 there up into San Juan Batista. It is very possible. Hollister, you might be seeing those low clouds by mid-afternoon. We're going to see those low clouds around uh, the Big Sur coast as well, but most of our inland locations will remain clear of those low clouds until we head into the overnight hours. That's when those low clouds will fill into the valley. And then tomorrow morning, we're waking up to those widespread low clouds and a great start to your day. Now, a little different from this weekend. Yes, we did have those low clouds every morning this weekend, but they cleared out by 10 a.m. We're not going to be getting rid of them. So that's the difference there. So again, great conditions lead to cooler temperatures around the coast. We'll be in those low 60s around Santa Cruz, Capitola, a little bit warmer in Felton at 67, even warmer yet uh, the higher up you go in the San Lorenzo Valley there in those low 70s. But those higher elevations, cooler mid to upper 60s for the summit area in Bonny Dune, low 60s though for Davenport. And you can expect more of the same around our coastal cities, low 60s out there today, a little warmer in Watsonville at 64, 66 in Salinas, 70 in Hollister, and then the Santa Clara Valley will actually be sitting in those low 70s today. So we will have some sunshine out there. It's just going to be for most of those interior locations, those valley locations, especially like the Salinas Valley and Carmel Valley. But anyway, heading back to the peninsula, we'll be in those low 60s out there this afternoon, and then up and down the Salinas Valley, we're actually going to be warmer. Again, we'll see more sunshine out there, especially from Soledad down into Bradley, Parkfield, San Antonio Valley, you'll all be in those low to mid 70s today, but with those low clouds around the Big Sur Coast, only low 60s expected out there this afternoon. And Carmel Valley, you can expect temperatures in those low 70s. You'll have some patchy low clouds for the Carmel Valley area. Overnight lows, we won't see much of a change. Uh, we should be a little bit warmer just because we will have a blanket of low clouds tomorrow morning.